Sylvester, look, I brought Jonathan and Melinda and Wally and all the gang to do some imaginifying. Hey, maybe we can go visit our friends the bees again. You know, the pretend kind that don't sting like real bees do. Say hello to everybody, kids. Well, would you like to come along with us? Great, wonderful. All right, everybody. Let's do some imaginary. Let's do some imagination and have a visit with the bee. We'll be in a brand new situation. We can do it. A blink, a sneeze. Then we can learn the bee song, and our hearts will learn how to fly. All we have to do. Close our eyes and imagine if I just imagine if I. All right, now close your eyes, think bees, and imagine if I. We did it! We're back, and we're down to bees. Again, and I'm sure glad pretend bees don't sting. Look, there's Honey Bee and the twins. Praise be and glory be, and Her Majesty Queen Bee. Good morning, Your Majesty. Why, Sylvester, Sylvester, and all the children. How lovely to see you again. You came at just the right time. Isn't this a lovely day for nectar collecting? Honeybee, what's nectar collecting? Why, that's what bees do, Wally. We sip the nectar up from the flowers and bring it back to the hive and make honey out of it. Yes, actually, we bees are pretty talented. We're waiting for Bertrand to get back. You remember him from your last visit, don't you, children? Yes, ma'am. But he's a bumblebee, isn't he? That's right, Jonathan. But he just loves being with us honeybees. So we're letting him try out for the job of scout. He's out there somewhere, looking for the best flowers in bloom. Then he'll come back and show today's nectar collecting crew which way to go. Listen, Your Majesty. I think I hear him coming. Oh, 
see. Well, here I am. <laughs> are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Are you okay? Yep, yep. Say, Sylvester, Sylvester, and all the gang. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Say, listen, I got no time to talk now. I gotta make my report. Sure. Yeah. Well, I just found a whole field of poppies. Or maybe they could have been uh, snapdragons. Or, or maybe petunies. Never mind, dear. Just tell us where they are. Well, they're right over that way. Uh, no, no, now, wait a minute. Uh, maybe it's that way. Uh, let's see. Which way is west? West, man! I guess I better do my bee dance. See, kids, this is the way we bees show each other which way to go. Uh, the scout, <clears throat> that's me, dances around in a circle till his instincts tell him in which way to go and his stinger is pointing in the right direction, like this. <laughs> that's it. It's that way. Good show, Let's go, everybody. Now, wait a minute. Do you bees remember the proper bee attitudes from the Word of God? You get in trouble out there if you forget those. Isn't that right, honeybee? Oh, yes. God, the great beekeeper, has told us everything we need to know to do a great job, stay out of trouble, and find our way back home. Well, praise be, glory be, and the believers can sing about it. Your word is sweet. Sweeter than honey, sweeter than honey, and the honeycomb. Your word is sweet, sweeter than honey, sweeter than honey, and the honeycomb. Well, it's good and it's true, and it tells us what to do. Sweeter than honey. Taken from Psalm 19, verse 10. There's sure a lot to learn when you start learning God's Word, isn't there, honeybee? Well, that's true, Abercrombie, but it's worth it. And it's divided up into parts, big parts and little parts, to make it easier to remember. Divided up? How? Well, Melinda, it has two main parts, called the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament has 39 books in it. And the books are divided up into chapters, and the chapters are divided up into verses. See how it works? Excuse me, but did you say the Old Testament part has 39 books? That's right, Wally. And the bees have memorized their names. Well, if we sing them for you, maybe we can help you remember them, too. Want to try? Sure! Yeah, that's right. The books of the law are Genesis. Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Then Joshua, Judges, Ruth, and Samuel give us history. Joshua, Judges, Ruth, and Samuel give us history. So do Kings and Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther, you see. So do Kings and Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther, you see. 
with Obadiah and Jonah and Micah and Nahum all in a row. You see, Sylvester, Sylvester, if the nectar collectors follow the wisdom in those books, they'll do just fine. I don't mean to be rude, Your Majesty, but I'm wondering why this little bee here doesn't have any stripes like the rest of you have. Oh, this is Billy Bee. This is his first time as a nectar collector. And he has to earn his stripes by finding his quota of nectar, you see? And I'm going to make it, Your Majesty. I know I am. I'm sure you are, Billy dear. We all believe in you. Thank you, Your Majesty. All right. Is everybody ready to go? Yes, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, start your ranger. <laughs> Let's all go and have a nice cup of nectar while we're waiting for them to come back. The rest of you bees can come along too and have a good visit with our friends. Well, we certainly enjoyed the nectar and the nice long visit, Your Majesty. I enjoyed it, too. But it's getting late. About time for our nectar collectors to start returning. I expect they'll have some adventures to tell us about. Really? Your Majesty, I hear them coming. Yes, Your Majesty, here they come. Hey, and it looks as though Abercrombie has brought along a rather strange-looking insect friend. Ah, uh, yes. I expect that's one of the great beekeeper's secret helpers. He often sends them along to help the nectar collectors when they need it most. Hmm. Sounds as though they might be angels. This one sure doesn't look like an angel. Maybe he's in disguise. Yes, Wally dear, they often are. Here we are, Your Majesty. Wow, what a day! Boy, am I all right, all right. We want to hear all about it. Now, who wants to be first? M may I please be first? Why, yes, Abercrombie. M by the way, dear, you look a bit bedraggled. Well, I landed in a puddle and got wet and muddy. And when I got straightened out, the others were gone and I was lost. It was awful. So I just huddled up on a big lily and, and panicked. Then just about the time I started to hi hyperventilate, my friend Milton Manis here hopped up beside me and said, Pray, pray, pray. So I prayed. And then he began to sing a song from God's Word, like, like this. Sing it again for us, will you, Milton? I should be most happy to. The 
Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Sing it with me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. And though I walk through the valley of shadows, I will fear no evil. Your rod and your staff, they come for me. You are And mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and evermore. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. the 23rd Psalm, you know, and it's true, too. The Lord did restore my soul. I mean, He calmed me down, see, and gave me courage. And then I was able to get my bearings. And I remember that right over the next hill, there was a beautiful green pasture and lots of flowers full of nectar. So, man, I, I mean, Your Majesty, I just loaded up and Milton and I buzzed right on home. We're all so happy to meet Milton. Yes, and it's so nice to meet you all, too. Thank you for helping Abercrombie. The pleasure is mine, Your Majesty. You know, come to think of it, the great beekeeper sent along Milton here just in the nick of time, or I might never have made it home. Well, you did, and we're so glad you're dried out and back with us safe and sound. Yeah. Me, too. Look, Your Majesty, here come Wilmer and Josephine, and, uh, some friends. I think they're... crickets. Well, Wilmer and Josephine, how did things go for you? Well, uh, fine, fine. Yeah, well, finally they went fine. And, uh, what does that mean, dear? Well, you see, usually I, I don't do petunias. And I had my mouth all set for daisies. But she insisted on petunias. And I got cranky and I, well, told her she was stubborn and bossy and didn't have good taste. But actually, the petunias were pretty good. <laughs> but then, well, uh... Go on. Well, then I told Wilma he was uncouth. No! Yes. Well, you see, he slurps. Well, he's supposed to sip... But he slurps. However, I must admit that he certainly collects more nectar than anybody I ever saw by slurping. Yeah, well, anyway, just as we were really getting unpleasant and unhappy with each other, along came these three cheerful crickets here. And they came just in time, too. Say, how do you do, gang? Mm -hmm. How do you do? Show them what you're saying for us, crickets. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healthy to the bone. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, oh Lord. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healthy to the bone. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, oh Lord. Little words can keep us crying, little words can keep us trying. 
from God's Word. Uh, Proverbs 16, 24, to be exact. Yeah, well, we knew we had to change the way we were talking to each other, but I didn't want to change first. Neither did I. But then we remembered Matthew 7, 12. No, no, it's Luke 6, 31. <laughs> no, Will, my dear. It's Matthew 7, 12. No, 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 it's Luke 6, 31. I'm sure it's Luke 6, 31. But actually, that verse is in both places. It's called the Golden Rule. Oh. And we felt like new bees. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you for your help, crickets. Oh, oh, here comes Marlo. Looks as though he found some secret helpers, too. They're wopses. They're wasps, Wally. Wasps. Right, wopses. Hello, Your Majesty. Well, Marlo, dear, tell us about your day. Well, when I started out the day, I figured right off that Bertrand was sure to lead us in the wrong direction. And even though the sun was shining, I figured it was going to rain anyway. Of course, I knew I'd get lost. And then poppies disagree with me, and I figured I'd get airsick while I was getting lost. Well, by the time I finished thinking of all that, I was worn out. So I just sat down and waited for a tornado or something to come along. And then, to top it all off, I looked up and along came these two wasps here. And me, too pooped to run. Guess what they said? Tell them what you said, boys, and I'll tell them what I said. Well, it went like this. <clears throat> Hi, friend. You look discouraged and maybe just a tad sour. May we join you? If you want to, but I expect you'll soon get tired of me. No, we won't. We'd like to help you out. Excuse me for saying so. But you two seem disgustingly cheerful. I thought wasps were supposed to be, well, waspish. Well, we used to be waspish, but we learned a great secret from the Word of God. You want to hear it? Looks like I can't stop you. Get ready. Here's Proverbs 
Go. Get a boy. time they got through with that one, I was in my present hilarious mood, and I've been feeling great ever since. I didn't even spill any nectar on the way home. It's been a wonderful day. Yes, and I'm thankful he loves us all so much. Yes, ma'am. And now I know we all want to hear from little Billy Bee and see if he's earned his stripes. He's... he's not here, Your Majesty. What? Why, it's very late. It, it's getting dark. Whatever can have happened to him? Maybe we should send out a search party. No, no, look, Sylvester, Sylvester. He's coming now, with some fireflies lighting his way. You're right, Jonathan. And look at the big load of nectar he has. Everybody. I'm sorry I'm so late. I I just got so busy nectar collecting that I lost track of time. Then when I realized it was getting dark, I started right home. But my load was so heavy that I couldn't fly very fast. 
and it kept getting darker and darker, and I was getting loster and loster. Then these fireflies here came singing through the dark. Let your light so shine. Let your good work show. Let your light so shine. The fireflies know the word of God, too. Fireflies, you're beautiful. Thank you for letting your lights shine so Billy B could find his way home. You know, Jesus said he's the light of the world, and we're like little lights reflecting his big light. When we tell people that he loves them, it's like shining a light into all the dark places inside them where they're sad or lonely or confused. Even kids can do that. Even little kids. Of course they can, Wally. In fact, in the Bible book named Ecclesiastes, in chapter 12, God tells us to love Him and serve Him while we're young and strong, like you and Billy B here. Remember now your Creator while you're still a kid. Remember now one who made you, you'll be glad you did. While you're young and thin, and you can run like the wind, and your arms are strong, and your legs are long, and your eyes are clear, and your ears are sharp, and your nose is cute, and your brain is smart. Remember now the Creator, while you're still a kid. Remember now the Creator, while you're still a kid. Remember now the one who made you, you'll be glad you did. I and you take it and your teeth fall out, and your hair turns purple, and, get and your skin gets satin, and, and your clothes get ragged, and, and, and you can't climb trees or do what you please. Remember now, the Creator, while you're still a kid. And one fine day, when you're old and gray, you look back over these days and say, I knew then what I know now. I'd live for Jesus anyhow. And you can run like the wind And your arms are strong And your legs are long And your eyes are clear And your ears are sharp And you go And the wind is smart Remember now you're creator While you're still a kid While you're still a kid Yeah! Well, God can use us at any age if we have willing hearts. But, Billy, dear, you certainly showed us what someone young and strong can do. You brought in the most nectar of all, and you've earned your stripes. Yay! Well, kids, it's time for us to imagine a fire our way back home now. Say goodbye. Goodbye! Goodbye!
goodbye, goodbye, everyone. Hurry back. Just imagine if I.